All right, there. All the guests here, are they? Just about, yeah. Christopher Biggins and Jenny Faulkner have arrived. Aye. Right. Uh, just waiting on Justin Lee Collins and Alan Carr. They've got to come all the way from Channel 4. <laughs> you know what that lot like. They're very competitive. Oh, I know what you mean. I know exactly what they'll be like. Justin will be like, oh, hello there. I'm Justin Lee Collins. Yeah. I'm on Channel 4. I've yeah. got long hair. And Alan will be like, hello, I'm Alan Carr. <laughs> Oh, what is You all right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the ITV canteen, lads? Oh, it's lovely. Who else uses it? Well, sometimes we share it with loose women. Ah, we've got a couple of those on Channel 4, haven't we, Al? There's this one lass works on Deal or No Deal. Enormous. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. It's a family show, lads. We don't want any of that cheap, smutty Channel 4 innuendo around here. Now, let's see what the specials are today. <laughs> I'm starving. Two specials, please, Beryl. Did you hear that? He's just ordered two specials. Uh, uh, Beryl, Beryl, can I have three specials, please? In that case, I'll have four specials, please. <laughs> Beryl, Beryl, I've changed my mind. I want five specials, please. Look, let's stop this, lads. Let's stop this silliness. If we're going to do this, let's do it properly. A proper eating competition. ITV versus Channel 4, what do you think? OK, you boys. Three words for you, Ant and Dak. Mm? Bring, Bring it on. <laughs> right, I want a clean fight. ITV, OK? And no dirty tricks, Channel 4. Let the montage begin! <laughs> come on, come on, you can do it. You've just got to finish this off. Finish it off. Every last bit. Every last bit. Come on. Show them how we do it on Channel 4. Swallow, Justin, swallow! Final plate. If you can finish the meatballs, you've beaten ITV and you are the winners. <laughs> Aha! Three words, Aunt Linda. In your face. Yeah? Yeah, well, three words for you, Channel 4. Kangaroo testicles. <laughs> And this week's Beat the Boys! We'll be serving up five grand belly of pork in the jiggy bank! Plus, in seconds out, round three in Ant versus Death. And for one night only, your star guest announcer, me, Quentin Terzino. But first, I don't know why he came here tonight. That Ant McPartland! He's got a feeling that something ain't right. That's Stephen Donnelly. Clowns to the left of them, jokers to the right. It's Ed and Death Saturday Night Takeaway. Saturday night takeaway, the only show on telling the says, don't just watch the adverts. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Yeah, we... Oh, what are you sec. doing? I've just got to send this before we get on. We're, on the, we're live on I the know, telly, I know, man! I know, I know, I've just got to send this text. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I've just got a text, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's from you? It's from me. <laughs> and I'm leaving the show. What? <laughs> The Russian producer wants me out. Oh, you... <laughs> who? Rich man, Big Wadovich? That's the one, yes. He, <laughs> he says one of us has got to go, and seeing as I am the special one, it's got to be me. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. I know. I know. It's shit is completely out of order. It's out of order. What about all the silverware you brought in over the last three years? I know. TV, quick, best entertainment show, thanks, readers. Yeah. Yeah. Now magazine, best presenters, thanks, readers. Real of the year. Twice. Twice, yeah. Oh. Of course, I'm taking me backroom staff with us. Beryl from the canteen, she's coming. Uh, Doris, the cleaner, she's coming. She made a great sweeper. Um, <laughs> there are also the lighting guys coming. Frankie Lamps. Frankie Lamps, he's coming, yes. I'm taking <laughs> The lighting man. Well, yes. you know, I'm, it's got a. Sorry to see you go, mate. It's such a shame. It's all right, I got this. Look, a little bit of a payoff. Well, did you? Look at that. Not yeah. much, but. Uh, wow, wow, wee, wow! <laughs> wow! Yeah, so that's it, I suppose. I'd better, better be off, better get this in the, in, in the bank. I oh, 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 don't want you to go. I mean, we're doing a live show. You might as well do the show and then head off after that. Shall I? Yeah, why well, yeah. not? Nah, nah, I'll just get this in the bank, get the night's extra interest on it. Um, <laughs> see you then. See you, see you, Marcus. Uh, it's me, put me a little check in. See you, Marcus. What's that done? Yeah, I know. Good, good. <laughs> see you later. Bye, everyone. Show, then. Of course you can stay and do the show. He can stay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now then, ladies and gentlemen, before we get on with the show, I'd just like to say a quick hello to our star guest announcer, Mr. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> oh, so we've got a question, actually. Quentin, Quentin, you're one of the most influential men in Hollywood, but we, what we've always wanted to know is, what actually influences you? Well, actually, one of the most influential things I've seen in the last 15 years was that one episode of Biker Grove where Ant got blinded by the painter. <laughs> I have ripped that off so many darn times, I can't even begin to tell you. I knew it! Who Little would, copycat! Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? But we'll be hearing from him all night, ladies and gentlemen, Quentin Tarantino! <laughs> now, as usual, one member of this studio audience could ruin the contents of the adverts from one of ITV1's biggest shows. This week's adverts are from Wednesday night's episode of The Bill. And as our audience came into the studio tonight, we took their photos and loaded them in. <laughs> one of these lovely looking people could be walking away tonight with all of this. In tonight's Prize Mountain, there are two brand new cars. A fridge freezer, a camcorder and a lawnmower. Plus holidays to Tokyo and Rome. There's also some socks, a pork pie, and a feather duster. Yeah, it's 11. What <laughs> person will be prepared for all of that later? And for you at home, we've got another set of ads from Thursday's police camera action, Ultimate Pursuit. Sounds exciting. We've got 100 people who correctly answered last week's question. They're all standing by at home, waiting for a chance to grab the ads. Here they are. That's 100 people for tonight. That's the names there. Later on, the supercomputer will be selecting callers from that list to play Cupid's Arrow with Jenny Faulkner and Christopher Biggie. Yeah, 